what's up everybody welcome to the channel where things are nice fun and lit and i am your queen of consistency busi rampepe and if you're new to my channel and you'd like to join the family kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back real og welcome back guys welcome back to episode three of pregnancy diaries of busi and i hope you've enjoyed the first two episodes so far this far and yeah man as y'all can see from the title of the video today we're doing a very sweet video episode because i'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience in the first and second trimester the symptoms i experienced and how it weren't and i hope you guys thoroughly enjoy the video as i think i'm excited to be sharing you guys my experience thus far because right now baby girl is heavily pregnant and very 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 soon my little bundle of joy will be here and super super excited for that so without wasting any time i'm gonna start with the first trimester and then i'm gonna go through through everything that i went through experienced and then we're gonna hop on to the second without wasting any time let's get straight into the video and guys just guys pregnancy has been very kind and good to me i mean look at me like i don't really have like my skin is still very clear very proper and yeah and my nose also my neck all those things yeah like it has been really kind and good to me and i'm eternally grateful for that and by the way this literally flies around this house and yeah and also i'm not alone i am with my aunt she's in the other room with the tv rooms i hope like she's watching tv and listening to radio at the same time yeah so i hope that a noise does not disturb our Video. so first trimester symptoms so first trimester symptoms guys i was so sick baby girl was so sick like i was so sick never mind the missed period like obviously the first 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 sign symptom was the missed period and which i took lightly and then the second one yo sana i got super sick i was so sick i was out like i was out 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 and this funny enough this actually happened it happened after i missed my period like yeah after i really missed my period like a month later that is when the symptoms of pregnancy started and they were intense they were hectic the first one was uh, the metallic taste in my mouth like oh i had a very metallic taste and uh, food tasted horrible by horrible i mean horrible like i couldn't taste certain food like 80 percent of the food that i would eat i couldn't taste and uh, it was very bad and then sometimes after eating i'd have to like brush my teeth and rinse my mouth because the food that i ate left a bit of taste in my mouth and it was not cute at all yeah so that was the loss of the second symptom the metallic taste in my mouth and because of that i lost appetite because i was like what is the point of eating if i can barely taste the food that i'm eating i'm literally just wasting food i went for a good month actually without buying groceries at race i was like at this point i'm wasting food so i left on lots of water and things i could just swallow like literally like maybe your yogurt and also still i'd have to like rinse my mouth because they were so bitter they were really so bitter and on the topic of food also i outgrew literally all the food that i loved i outgrew can't remember when was the last time i actually had my favorite chips like since i became pregnant i've never had my favorite chips at all it's crazy right yeah, i've never 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 had them and also i had grew a lot of sweet my i have a sweet tooth sweet tooth but then like sweet tooth but then now like i can't stand sweet things like maybe i'll have one or two but like i can't and i'm okay with just having fruits only and that's about it yeah i outgrew my favorite food 
drinks but drinks was not by choice obviously but then yeah and also like my favorite go-to snacks and stress relief snacks I, I do all of them yeah and what else let us see oh dizziness and fatigue those ones i'm gonna pair them together yo the fatigue I became so tired as I was so lazy and it's crazy because it happened just after when did it happen yeah it was crazy because it was mid mid second semester so you can imagine like I have classes to attend I have sports to attend but I was always super exhausted after walking like literally 200 meters baby girl is out I need to rest if I was going maybe to the cafeteria, I would walk, walk, walk. When I get there, instead of just doing an in and out thing, I get there, do my things, and then only after a while, I leave. If I'm going to the gate, I would take breaks on my way to the gate, which was insane. Someone that used to run like 10Ks, even 500 meters was a lot for me, so you can imagine. So the fatigue was insane. Even at race, after just eating, the food that I didn't really eat much, like whatever I'd eat or whatever I'd do, like just after doing a small task, I would sleep. For the first time in history, I didn't struggle sleep at all. I used to sleep a lot. I would sleep. I'll just I remember with my assignments, right? I would just probably let's say write a paragraph or two, and then I'm out. I'm gonna sleep for three to four hours. Like my man will go to his training sessions and come back. And then only then I'll wake up, yeah. But then I used to sleep a lot. I used to sleep a lot. I was always tired. Like I was always tired. I didn't want to do anything. It was very bad. Even with my schoolwork, I didn't really put a lot of work. The aim was just to pass in the first trimester, like of my pregnancy. During that time, it was just as long as I'm passing. And I was so scared for the test. I'm like, whatever test pops up, because now I'm unable to study. I'm really sleepy, and the fatigue came with a lot of dizziness and heat. I experienced a lot of heat just after, out of no wind. I sweat a lot, close to fainting, and that becomes so dizzy. So I prefer being in my room most of the time. And I didn't really leave my room a lot the first few weeks, yeah, because I was always tired. Then I was like, yeah, I don't want to find in public or in a very unpleasant place and all of that. And I'm stranded and I'm alone. Yeah. So the fatigue came with a lot of dizziness and the extreme heat. So I used to drink a lot of water. I would be so dehydrated. Even after drinking water, I would still be dehydrated. Which is strange and odd. But then that's what happened, yeah. And yeah, man. Hmm. Pregnancy. Right, yeah. And then the last two. Yo! I became so nauseous as well. Because, yo. I became so... Yeah. I became so nauseous because every morning I used to have this other class at eight o'clock, so I had to make sure after finding out. Obviously, I became I came I started taking my vitamins and medication. So every morning, obviously, I have to have breakfast before I take my medication. So that eight o'clock class, I had to wake up a bit early, get ready, take my meds, eat first, and then take my meds immediately after swallowing the vitamins and drinking the water i became the runner that i am i used to run to the bathroom to literally vomit everything that i had immediately after eating the food will just come out in the morning breakfast lunch dinner and i could literally feel it now just eat and eat xana it's about to get down Get to the bathroom literally everything comes out as i feel like i'm done 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 i start cleaning up and everything it's down to to run again run 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 it was exhausting because i was always late for class now and i was like at this point i must just you know rather than to eat after getting ready i ate before 
and now it's super slow so that at least i give the food time to digest and i don't really vomit like out yeah out would on a normal day yeah but all in all i used to literally vomit the food that i ate for a good two weeks and two to three weeks i used to vomit every day i know that after eating but i'm having a pizza no more bread yogurt or whatever everything would just come out and he stopped sitting so much i was like at this point i'm wasting food and i lost my appetite again i don't want to eat anything like yeah, fun. I'm, was, I'm eating but then the food keeps coming out and my chest would be so so after vomiting also the taste of the vomit in my mouth yo guys stay away from boys stay away from men men are not good people they will give you babies and then you'll go through all these horrible things on your own while they just jokes but in least honestly speaking stay away from that aspect of boys that aspect of boys the results the consequences are not nice and you guys can hear them yeah and that's pretty much it with the first semester i'm not semester now trimester sorry first trimester that is what i went through and i experienced little did i knew little that i know the worst is yet to come it was only the first trimester and i feel like at this point i don't want to be pregnant anymore like lord no i can't i can't and i was like i'm over this this is a lot if this is what pregnant people go through miss me this is my first last baby because what the actual f no ways 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 yeah yeah and that's pretty much it that is what i went through in my first trimester probably i forgot something i don't know but then this is what i remember these are the key things that happened in my first trimester and sana it wasn't easy oh, it was a lot it was really a lot and there was a lot to take in and uh, my man oh, my man my man this girl's man he showed up for me like period like always and and as much as sometimes you couldn't really do much because i mean i'm going through physical things and yeah and then the worst thing is that with some of these oh also with flu there was a time where like i was so sick i caught flu and the doctor was like you cannot take medication the medication that you used to take you cannot take it you cannot take it yeah i felt like i was dying i wanted to cry my heart out because i'm like bro i'm sick like i'm gonna die and then you tell me that i cannot take medication it's like no it's when you're pregnant we advise women not to to limit the intake of medication which is what happened and till this day my body now fights things naturally if i you know, it's insane but yeah man we're here now and then second trimester hmm second trimester let's break it down and talk about it the first 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 thing i experienced you had been sana i experienced immense intense heartburn throughout my second trimester guys it had been a flunganjan heartburn is not nice heartburn is yo 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 guys it will wake you up from sleeping like yo i experienced immense heartburn like it was so bad it was so 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 bad i still experience heartburn right now but then it's not as intense as it was in my second trimester Yes, I'm in my third trimester now. So, after eating, especially when I eat at night, give me an hour, Sana. Had been started doing a job and it would be so bad. Milk was my best. Now, I'm so over. I hate milk now because I feel like I've had so much milk during whenever I had. Whenever I have had burn, I literally have half a liter of milk because it was the only way that it would reduce 
the acid I guess in my yeah but I had a lot of heartburn it was not nice after every meal I know for sure it's coming and sometimes I tried staying away from spicy salty food but then cravings are cra cravings are cravings and you need to feed those cravings I fed my cravings. I ate a lot of salty food, spicy food. Still do even right now. I'm thinking of after this video, I'm thinking of getting myself something to eat which is a bit spicy and a bit chilly as well. I'll see though, like and also some foods they were acidic, so even juices. At this point I don't drink it because I was only drinking juice, I've been drinking juice throughout my pregnancy and then I got to a point where I stopped drinking juice because it left an acidic taste in my mouth and then also it affected me and then because it it caused it caused heartburn yeah so my son is heartburn heartburn and it's painful guys when you sleep it feels like you're getting blocked you cannot breathe when you're sleeping yeah it's so bad so 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 bad so normally what i'll do to trick it when i feel i'm when i wanted to have salty things i'll usually just have them in the afternoon knowing very well at least by come midnight i'm fine and i'm ready to sleep it has you know yeah so the first one is heartburn and i left off milk i show i'm sure like you know, how do i explain this everywhere i went i went with a bottle of milk and a bottle of water because i knew what i am it can go down any time after eating as far as heartburn is concerned yeah so yeah that was heartburn and then obviously my baby started showing and my second trimester and it's so insane because when i started the first three months you could hardly tell that I'm expecting a baby. Mind you, I was 13, 14, 15 weeks away, but you can hardly tell. Like, my stomach was still super, super flat. I did not have a belly bump or whatever. And then, literally a month later, four months in, I have belly fat now. A belly fat is drinking too much, is eating too much. A belly fat, and I'm like, Where does this bum come from? Like, it used to shock me so much. I'm like, Bro, you usually went from having absolutely nothing to having this. My bum has been so cute. Oh my gosh, yeah. I went from having zero, nothing to having a bump, and boy, they did not make me work. Cause I was still at school and uh, I had to make a plan now to hide it. I'm a very respected person here on campus so I wanted to keep it that way you know it, didn't, it had nothing to do with me being ashamed or whatever I just wanted to keep it to myself and my people in my circle yeah I felt like it was none of people's business at school that I was expecting a baby yeah hmm hence I I had to hide it so i was wearing a lot of baggy clothes like pants and tops like throughout until i left raise yeah i did and it worked in my favor and it worked so well but it was only boring when it came to like i had to attend functions now i can't wear a dress because obviously it's gonna hold me i can't wear a specific day i was living on pants and oversized tees yo boy the worst not necessarily the worst i got used to it yeah i was like hi sana but sometimes it got hot at some point i was like yeah sure like i'm burning but uh, i still don't want people in my business so i had to beg it delinde you're finishing soon yeah so i had to pick Zella and just continue wearing those big baggy clothes yeah yeah and then what else yeah man my breasts boobs in the face of a man and the face of a what oh, they became so they were so so a lot of times they became so big 
number one and it became so painful it was so fragile oh whenever i chill with my man and then he just accidentally comes into contact with them friction heat oh mm -mm. so yeah and then they used to hurt a lot they used to hurt a lot and then they would bleed a little bit you see the nipple part yeah it will bleed a little bit and but it lasted for maybe a few weeks a few weeks Mara, they were so sore they were so painful especially when i'm walking very fast when you're oh after taking a shower because after that heat i could usually feel the pain it was so painful yo. it was so 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 painful they grew and then they were painful yeah oh so like milk started leaking experienced a lot of milk leakage and i remember i got so scared in the beginning i'm like yo what is this because first it was just water 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 and at some point milk milk like why you milk is white right yeah your white milk started coming out and like that is when i was like bro you're really pregnant you're really having a baby because what the hell and i'll just you know, a lot of milk needs to come out and then but it's somebody used to irritate me because they would look to a point where i had to like now i'm not a really fan of i'm not a fan of bras so i had to like wear bras and put some things some, i used to put some cotton wool because it's soft yeah so i was like i'm not ready to wear my tinty bras because they're so big so i'd rather just wear my normal bras sports bras to be specific because they're very comfortable and i'll just put some cotton wool just for them to leak on the cotton wool and not my bras because it was going to make me work over time now washing and washing and washing and washing but yeah my boobs started leaking milk started coming out i'm like honey this is really happening you're really pretty and baby is really developing and growing we are at this point now where there's milk coming out guys in like yo yeah and the most exciting one the baby kicks and movement to say like they're moving they're kicking they're talking to the mother they're communicating with no mama yeah it was i remember like the first i don't know when was the first kick i can't really remember but then i remember it vividly like when it happened i don't remember the dates but when it happened i felt something I was like mm -mm. it happened i felt something in my stomach move hmm a few minutes later it moved again I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is my baby. And then it stopped. And I think a couple of days later, it happened again. Now I could literally see it. You see? Because at the first, it would catch me off guard. Yeah. And then I could see it. Now they are intense. As I love seeing my baby kick and move around. It's the most beautiful thing ever i'm like baby's alive baby's grown baby's breathing well inside of mommy's mommy's belly you know yeah my womb is expanding and it shows that oh, mommy's healthy baby's healthy and developing so well so the cakes i love them so much whenever i don't experience them after like for like a couple of hours I'm like, baby, are you still okay? Are you still alive out there? Are you still there? Like, what's up? Why you know, moving my girl, my boy. So, yeah, you know. And then I'm like, my boy, my girl, you gotta move. You gotta move. And then I'll just rub it a little bit. And then it starts moving again. And I'm like, that's my baby. That's my baby. Yeah. I really love the movement, the kicks. But sometimes they can be, not because now I'm far in feels like punches i'm like active baby we love it we, i love feeling and seeing my baby move but the only thing that annoys me a little bit is when i try to take videos baby becomes so still i'm like bro i'm trying to take videos of you and show daddy that baby is growing baby is alive but yeah the kicks 
love them son i love them love them love them only at night when this they like son i want to sleep now and you restore me my sleep oh so when i'm having stressful day just be like yo i'm not in the mood for kicks not today my baby or not this hour but all in all overall love them love them love them guys i'm enjoying this quick dance it's my first one and um i have all the love and support from family and friends acquaintances so you can imagine like and show and shooting a little so i i am happy they are lower also like i mean y'all can see it so yeah and then my feet the worst so whenever i travel for long distances or i walk for too long or i stand for too long my feet get swollen and they become they become so bad i've been wearing literally one pair of shoes ever since i became pregnant like all these other shoes they don't fit at all anymore and they don't at all like i literally wear just one shoe my feet get swollen a lot and my man would literally massage them rub them sometimes i put them in hot water with salt in a bucket your small cute bathtubs yeah because it's not cute when they get swollen i wish i could show you guys they become so bad but they know it's not a cute image video to look at but then i took them for my personal memories yes just to be like yeah when the baby was here when the baby was growing the feet got affected as well but they get so swollen yeah it's one of the symptoms as well and then the other one is uh, the bathroom breaks guys the bathroom breaks are so insane every 10 minutes every i feel like after every hour you probably go to the bathroom three times so now you can imagine when you're traveling you try your best not to drink a lot of water but then you need water because baby needs water so you can imagine guys the bathroom breaks ends especially at night after drinking you can literally just drink a small glass of water i kid you not after 10 minutes it's time to run to the bathroom sometimes it's frustrating because you literally just it's just one two three four and then it's done and then sometimes when you feel like ah, it's just going to be one two three four and then it's when the whole tap opens yeah sometimes it taps sometimes it drops and then you know, the bathroom breaks are so insane i just during the day it's okay when you're not busy but at night you just like i want to sleep and it's just there at the edge like i want to come out oh yeah pregnancy rumination yeah what else what am i missing and then the last one oh my energy levels came back i was very happy i went from being super exhausted to being active and then when my energy came back, i was like i'm going to use utilize it very well whenever i had the energy to do so many things I would use it, capitalize on it. I'm like, I know when I become tired, I become so tired. I don't want to do anything anymore. So I'm going to work. If I have to work, I'm going to run. If I have to run, I'm going to do run errands. If I have to run errands because I know when body shuts down, it shuts down. It shuts down for hours. Sometimes for maybe two, three days. Yeah. So it was like, honey, when the energy is here, utilize it capitalize on it and i did exactly that and i managed to finish my semester man like i came out like a champ like a warrior i wrote those exams i was able to i was so happy i was able to study for my exams because i was so stressed about my exams i'm like yo am i going to be able to prepare and study for exams do my research project attend meetings all of that it was really stressful but then by the grace of the good lord we came out alive came out alive We're still standing We're still standing my baby and i and yeah man and yeah and yeah and she came back i was able to do a few activities my man and i were able to go out again and it was nice man it was very nice and we started planning things together spending more time together cuddling again because the boobs were nice now they were no longer like painy 
towards the end and yeah man pregnancy yeah so i think that's pretty much it i think i did not miss it oh also i experienced lingaman pain lingaman pain it's when your womb is growing and now your womb is growing and stretching so it becomes a bit uncomfortable and painful here and there so i experienced a lot of that and it used to scare me a little bit and then my mind would be like relax baby's growing that's it our baby's growing and you should be grateful and you should be happy about it and it's very uncomfortable but then it's only for a while the pain's don't last for too long my man guys my man my man my man my man you see so yeah that's pretty much it those are the symptoms that i experienced in my first and second trimester that's not easy you see some things were fun to witness like now my womb showing then my baby's really growing the cakes and everything else is not really positive i guess it's not really positive and yeah i've always been i've always had clear skin so some because of pregnancy so i can't really say there's a bonus but yeah man that's pretty much episode three of pregnancy diaries with busy my first and second trimester i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed the video and the next one is going to be another exciting one because you get to find out if as a girl or a boy and yeah so yeah man we've reached the end of the video and i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it because i really enjoyed sharing this experience with you guys what i went through and i hope you guys receive it so well and please don't forget to share with your family and friends and guys we have arrived the 21st century generation we've arrived so it's time for us to make these babies now i mean yeah i mean it's the right age so why not yeah let's grow and expand our families yeah and yeah guys i'll see you on my next episode of pregnancy diaries with busy episode four where we get to find out whether it's a girl or a boy and yeah man, please don't forget to like subscribe and share 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 please i'll see you guys on my next video bye